Welcome everybody. We've got a lot more idle dialogue now, so I'm curious how that's going to impact. Whoa! Good. <laughs> everybody did a little crazy so snap out. animation. What's so important it couldn't wait until the next department meeting? Always the charmer, Aiden. Over the past few days, we've been getting a lot of reports in from settlements and contacts. Sightings of strange things far out in the ocean. After discounting all the usual crap, it turns out what people have been seeing out there are ships sailing up and down the coast. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, you're still thinking like someone from the past. Nowadays, even small fishing boats are rare. But whole ships in the middle of the ocean? That's almost unheard of. Dogbeat making a great cameo there in his, in his doggles. Is it really that unusual? Everyone knows Commonwealth waters are considered no the, That helmet I'm still rocking. Besides, <laughs> being irradiated, they're filled with mire lurks and worse. Not to mention anything floating Baseball out there. Baseball brothers for life, Jake. Game for target practice. The only people who venture offshore are either crazy, desperate, or well prepared for trouble. I think I understand. It takes a well-organized group to maintain and operate something like a ship. Right. Now, I didn't want to jump to no conclusions, so I went to the coast myself. You know, see if I could spot anything with my own eyes. And... I did. It was far away, but... managed to snap a few shots with my camera. Take a look for yourselves. I know it's kind of blurry, but... that symbol on the ship's hull... looks awful familiar, don't you think? Uh, we were getting we were getting so close. The first time that 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 uh, the camera sequence played there, I thought for certain we were going to just crash into the table because we have very little control over those uh, those dialogue scene camera movement movements. You can't be saying what I think you're saying. I wish I wasn't, but it sure looks like it's a gunner ship. They're back. Easy now. Nothing we can't handle. Yeah, you're right. We defeated them before, we can do it again. Uh, but sailing ships up and down the Commonwealth coastline? Why would the gunners do that? Oh, I love seeing all these perk checks we're gonna hit. They must be looking for something. Yeah, I think you're right. Those gunner ships, they're doing recon. They're scouting the coast. But why? My god. They're planning an attack from the sea, aren't they? We've been so busy watching the roads and air, we didn't even think they'd keep an eye on the water. Oh, man. If the gunners decide to come at us from the sea, do I even need to say how bad that would be for us? How bad? Real, real bad. I mean, they could deploy troops anywhere along the coast. There'd be no way to contain them. Gunner soldiers could sweep over the Commonwealth within a matter of days. And even if we did manage to hold them back, they could just ship in as many reinforcements as they needed. Then we need another option. Yeah, but what? Well, if those scout ships had done their job, by now the gunners will know that, besides the castle, we got diddly squat protecting the coast. Would the castle be enough? I doubt it. At least, not without some serious renovation and upgrades. Huh. Assuming we're right, and these sightings are a prelude to invasion, we could start seeing inbound troop ships very soon. But, if we're fast, we could turn this to our advantage. Hey Jake, got any ASAMs laying around? Well, a Hold both on. of them got I patchy beard today. With this. You building something? We use ASAMs to build a new outpost. A military installation, with artillery specifically designed to track and destroy any ships that stray too close to the shore. Hey, that... that's not a bad idea, Aiden. If the gunners are gonna come at us by sea, and they think we're vulnerable, they'd send all their troops at once. They'd be expecting no resistance, and then BAM! We hit their ships with everything we got. Hit them before they hit us. I like it. Wait a minute. Artillery? But that means we'd be killing a lot of people. 
This isn't or innocent Lupe. the assault at the plaza. The gunners on those ships would know full well what they're getting into. I got no problem thus blowing them out of the water. Not if it means protecting the Commonwealth. It's your call, Chief. But speaking as a former Minuteman, I think building this outpost is our only option. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna try that. I get to set up a new base. That's cool. I was hoping you'd take this a little more seriously. <laughs> but can't uh, fault your enthusiasm. I think we're all in agreement. We build this outpost. Protect the Commonwealth from any kind of ship the gunners decide to throw at us. Where do we start? Huh, that's a good point. We'll need to pick a location. Well, don't suppose anyone's got a suggestion. I'm told there's a small landmass just off the coast. Spectacle Island. Settling it has failed in the past, so gunners would expect it to be empty. It would offer the best view of the ocean, and with the right fortifications, could make a formidable stronghold. I know of a settlement near the sea. They used to trade with Vault 81. The uh, Warwick Homestead. The area is on a peninsula and has a mostly unobstructed view of the ocean. With a few extra walls, it could easily be made defensible. Although we'd have to negotiate with the family living there, convince them to join with us. Hey, <laughs> what the about elevator the ding. That's because it's right I behind mean, my character. It's got those huge walls. You've already rebuilt oh, its artillery. It must have uh, hit a shift change. A view of the harbor and ocean. Make a few repairs, toss a few ASAMs in there, and figure out a way to track the gunner ships, and we'd be good to go. Those all sound like good options. What do you think, Chief? Ding. Uh, I think we gotta go. I think I already have castle, so we'll go with that. Actually, I wanna. Hmm. No, I wanna build one of the city plans. So I guess we'll go spectacle because that's my favorite of the designs. Spectacle Island would be a good choice, and we've already got control of the place. All right. You sure this is where you wanna build the outpost? So whatever city plan we got there, about to get nuked. Um, maybe for that reason, because I'm betting I'm using a city plan there already. Um, but I also don't want to have to go through, I don't want to go do the Warwick quest, so, yeah, we'll go, we'll do it. Yeah, I'm sure. Then let's do this. I'll start organizing all the departments, get them ready to start coordinating on this. As for the artillery, we can use the same schematics you found in the castle. A few of those should be more than a match for any ship. And I can begin moving ASAMs and supplies to the building site. But, don't worry, we'll wait for your go-ahead before starting construction. Good thinking. The chief should survey the area at least once. But I'm not sure I'm comfortable with you being out there by yourself. I'll keep an eye on the kid. I'll need to advise on the construction anyway. Might as well do it in person. All right, then. The chief, Lupe, and Aiden will head to the site. Everyone else will get everything ready here. Let's get this outpost built. And give those gunners what they've got coming. Hmm. <laughs> Lupe's a pain. Oh, come on. She seems to be able to handle herself. Why are you worried? Recently, there's been murmurings of a rise in raider activity. I'd just rather be safe than sorry, that's all. We'll be much better able to defend ourselves. It's a good position. Yeah, you picked a good spot for sure. I just hope we can get everything built before the gunners make a move. I have full confidence in the abilities of everyone here. All right, everybody breaks. Okay. You know what? I don't think I ever chose a flag. Artillery strikes. So basically the reason this pop-up is here, even if you've already got them unlocked, is the Minutemen by default, unless you have a mod to change it, uh, only work in, well, at least based on code. Maybe in, in practicality they do work correctly, but looking at the code, they only work in the Commonwealth. So now ours basically just ignore that and bypass it. Uh, and you can use them in, like, if you go set up settlements in Var Harbor or Nuka World with them, they should hey. work there as well. Uh, HQ flag select. Do we have any unlocked? Uh, sure, we'll use the Minutemen flag. Why not? I don't remember. I don't know who we're going to use for this. For the, uh, we'll set it as our, as our uh, Empire flag. Uh, yes, and change all existing flags. Let's see. There we go. Minutemen flag. All right, so what is our next objective then? So I need to get to Spectacle, right? Oh yeah, I got 11 people over Spectacle. I wonder what we have built over there. Wait, why can't I travel? I bet there's... 
respawn gunners or something around here. I hear plasma rifles, so that, that feels like respawn gunners. Wait, what is that little symbol down there? Am I addicted to jet? I don't... I'm not shocked by that. I just... Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it sounds like gunners respawned up you on the roof. Jam? Let's jam. Get him, Clef! Hey, bud. Nice. I love when the corpses get stuck in weird ways. There's a lot of that goes on in Starfield, too. Uh, if you... Uh, so many times I've blasted the uh, jetpacks off of people and they launch right up into the ceiling and their head just gets stuck up in the ceiling. It's glorious. I wonder if the turrets are respawning too. And they both got quickly destroyed. Great. All right. What we got down here? Caravan guards. Cool. Okay. Now we can try this again. Spectacle. Here we come. All right. Let's talk to Lupe. Hey there. Okie dokie. Looks like everything's ready. Just need your go-ahead and we can begin. Need anything before we start? I think we have everything we need. And if not, we can just have the HQ send more. Huh. Sure is nice having a whole team to back you up, huh? So, ready? Of course. Go ahead. All right. It's building time. First things first. Would you rather direct <laughs> That is building personal? time. Or leave it to me and the work team instead. I can't help, but it just make, takes my mind to Power Rangers. It's morphin' time. Uh, you build them. Yeah. You should be the one to do it. No problem. I'm actually curious how long this is going to take. Um, First, we'll build some artillery. Because it doesn't look like I have a city plan. Looks like I must either build this manually, or or maybe it is a city plan and there's just barely anything here. With the HQ and keep an eye on the sea. Also, we'll make sure to build plenty of walls, turrets, and lots of martial plots, too. And then we're done. I'll start getting the work crews on task. And Aiden can help with the fortifications. Looks like you got your hands full. I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Using the ASAMs, this shouldn't take too long. Feel free to supervise. Okay, let's get to work, everyone. Okay, bring on that cinematic mode. Let's get to work, everyone. Aiden just goes and stands at attention. This does not look like a city plan, but this also doesn't look like something I would have plopped down either. Um, oh, there we go. I vaguely recall using, maybe I used our um, ROTC one, but we'll never know now, because now it got replaced. I mean, I guess I could I could roll roll back my save, but probably not gonna. But it looks so cool to watch the settlement up here while you're up in the air. Yeah, the castle design was really cool. So the castle design, well, all three of them were originally intended to be part of this big giant battle, um, and uh, the castles in particular, there was a lot of time spent on that, and then that battle got cut. But we had this battle, so ended up we ended up working in our favor. But yeah, that's enough waiting. We'll pop out here. All right, let's check our build limit here. Oh, actually, I guess I have to pop in workshop mode to see what it is. Oh, yeah. Full on. All right, let's up that a little bit. Add 100. There we go. More space to build. All right, guys. Get at it. Oh, yeah. Come on, Lupe. Wrap it up. We don't even have 120 building material. Okay, let's go scrap some stuff. Talk to Lupe. That's it. There it We're is. Done. What do you a little think? delayed. Did we make a good outpost? Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. <laughs> You're exaggerating. But if what you said is even half true, we must have done a good job. Considering how fast we built it, I don't think we could ask for better. It'll serve our needs. Meet Lupe at the comp station. Done. It's <clears throat> probably waiting for her to path. There you go. Okay then. Let me just establish That's our, our backup HQ. snap. I actually need to add that to some other quests. Officially operational. This will just take a few moments. Sounds like we're already in contact. You work fast, kid. Um, 
That's nothing to do with me. Or the radio tower. I'm still setting everything up. Huh. Maybe it's Jake, checking in by radio? Jake. Listen. No. Hi. Much. Inbound. Action. I don't think that's Jacob. M must. Already. Interception. Who are you? This is Spearhead Command. Captain Lamont requests status update on fleet position. Over. Command, this is Admiral Hewlett. Carrier Drake suffered engine problems and has fallen back. Rest of fleet in position and holding. Over. Good to hear. AGs 2 to 12 are poised and ready at Weymouth Ruins. Secondary land incursion will begin once your fleet is beached and troops unloaded. Please confirm landing locales. Over. Four troop ships each to Phillips, Nahan, Revere, Nordhagen, and Wollaston Beach. Two additional to South Boston Port if tide permits. Over. Understood and confirmed. Stand by for go-ahead. Captain Lamont will contact shortly. Then begin Commonwealth assault. Over and out. More intercepted gunner comms. How'd you do that? I'm not sure. Either way, just got some valuable intel. Sounds like those gunner ships are right at our doorstep. Hey, guys? I've finished establishing the link to the HQ. Jake, this is Aiden. We just received some intel. EJ, I know. We heard it too. The message was being piped to the comm array. Just don't ask me why or how or who it was from. We can talk about it later. Yeah, you're right. We've more important things to worry about. Actually, now that I think about it... Things are over here in those gunner comms. We can now probably pinpoint the exact location of the gunner fleet. Knowing the exact location, artillery should be able to take out every ship with just one volley. Nice and clean. Everyone killed in one strike. Give the signal to open fire. Let's do it. That, slick. Feeding telemetry data into the comma right now. And... That's it! We got the coordinates of the gunner fleet! We are good to fire! Sinking with the comma ray? Okay! We got it! Fire! Nice! I love when the timing lines up good. It's sketchy as to when and when it will. Oh, there was the explosions. Ha! Take that, you gunner scum! Lupe! What does the radio tower say? Did we get them all? Yeah, we hit the fleet. But, wait, there's something... I think one of the other things, this is one of my favorite is... Oh, there it goes, it's working. Jake! Multiple gunner aircraft. I think they're heading to the HQ. Shit! Mansfield! Get security on the roof now! Missile launchers and Batman! Go, go, Where did those aircraft come from? I don't know. Maybe there was another gunner ship? Not with the fleet? Are you waiting for? Find it and blast it out of the water! I'll try. Just give me a few minutes. Sir, we clipped one of the vertebrates. It took damage and was forced to land. Gunner troops are inbound. Damn it. Lupe, keep working. The chief and I will deal with the gunners. Here we go. This is one of my favorite designs because it does a really good job of making you naturally look to where they're going to fly in. Which I really like. Because um, I hate having to force you with the camera if we can avoid it. Oh, there they are. Apparently we won't be helping them. That's just the the turrets are gonna take care of them before we even get to them. Aiden gonna come over and say, "Good job." Good job. <laughs> Let's check in with Lupe. I'll take credit for clearing them all. I've almost found the last gunner ship, but it's far away. I think it's a carrier. The radio tower is still scanning. Hello, is, is anyone there? We need help. Mansfield, it's Aiden. Where's Jake? He's on the roof. With the others. They've shot down some gunner fighter planes, but there's a vertebra circling and we can't take it down. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I've not even told you the worst part yet. Jake thinks that the vertebra is carrying a nuke. What? A nuke? 
Jake suspects that once we run out of ammo, the Verdi bird will make a pass and drop it right on top of us. Damn bastard gunners! They can't take the HQ back, so they're gonna blast it instead! I'm needed on the roof. Whatever you do, please hurry. We can't hold out much longer. Damn it! We need to get back and stop that vertebrate! No argument from me. Let's go. Hey, why don't we take the gunner vertebrate that landed nearby? I can probably get it airborne again. Then we could fly it back. Maybe use its minigun against the one trying to drop the nuke? That's good thinking, kid. Come on, let's go. Oh, but wait. What about the carrier ship? It might send more aircraft. Someone needs to stay and fire the artillery once the radio tower gets a lock. Fine. You stay. The chief and I will... No. Neither of you know how to fly a vertebrate. Aiden, you stay here, and I'll fly our chief to the HQ. Uh, okay. I'll take care of things here. Get moving. I guess we have, we have a fl plot hole for anybody who uh, uses the fly your own vertebrate mod. <laughs> like, I know how to fly a vertebrate. All right, move. Move, security. You're about to get blasted. So let's roll. All right, now if I can figure out my bearings. Oof. Need to get that endurance up. All right, let's see. Did Lupe make it? There she is. Sometimes she has something to say here. I don't know how stable this vertebrate will be. It's better we stay way under its weight limit. Sorry, but your friend will have to stay here. Later, dog meat. Big flight checks, starting engines. You sure you know what you're doing here? Pretty much. I mean, I flew a remote control plane once. These controls don't seem that different. Just bigger. Oh. Yellow blinky light? Uh, I think we can ignore that. Okay, hold on tight. Here we go. I think we're good. Leveling off. We're not too far from the HQ. It shouldn't take long. You might want to test that minigun. Oh yeah, sure it works. I'll be blowing up some cars. Thank you, Lupe. <laughs> we're getting close. I can see the HQ. Slick! Is that you up there? It's us, Jacob. We're here to stop that vertebrate. Oh, thank goodness. We're running out of stuff to shoot at that damn thing. Well, you two need to be careful. Oh, I think that clipped it a little. <laughs> a nuke, we know. But it's not as if we have many options. Okay, I see the enemy vertebrate. Get ready on that minigun. Damn, it's out of range. Hold on. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, yeah, we're not going to go there from that. Come on. All right, so one of the things that I think hey, a lot of people miss... I think this thing has missiles. Let me know if you want me to fire them. And I just realized why. It's because all these signals are up there spamming. But at some point you get... Missiles away. ...told about... Wait, did it not fire? Oh, Good there it goes. Hit. Got it. Couldn't see it. Um, eventually you get... Sometimes you get told... Let's see if it pops up or if it's we're getting too much spam for you to see it. The... Um, yes. You can yeah. actually turn force Lupe to turn the vertebrate around. If you hold all the way to one side or the other for a moment, she'll spin the other direction. So you can spin her back and forth, and uh, there it is. Aim your in again all the way to right, left or side, hold for several seconds, trigger looper to turn the vertebrae, circle the opposite direction. So I don't know if that was enough. But. I'm on it! Firing missiles! You got it! But that, that feature doesn't get enabled until you get that prompt, so I think now we should be able to do it. It's not always worth it, but occasionally it can make this go a lot faster. All right, turn us around. Let's see if this works. Tight. There we go. Yep. And a lot of times, because the the vertebrate's We're path is like slightly. Oh, thought the nuke just went off. Um, that was just a car blown up. The other enemy vertebrate's path is slightly wider than the the uh, player's one, uh, so you can often get better shots going the other direction. Firing missiles. Nice. Get him! Oh, that missile was so cool. Oh, it did hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. We're, we're going down! Lupe!
We shouldn't be wasting medical supplies. They're the enemy. Irrelevant. These men are under my care. If you don't like it, take it up with the chief. <laughs> Very funny. Speaking of, how is he? Any changes? I've done everything I could. But trauma was severe. Only time will tell. Shame you guys can't afford blankets. So in the background, like during the scene from the moment it fades to white to this, uh, basically the whole gunner war is rigged up and triggered at that moment. Thank God. When, when your vertebrate went down, I, I thought I lost you. You got banged up pretty bad in the crash. You've been out of commission for three whole weeks. How are you feeling? No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Now, I know it may not seem like it, but you were. And if it wasn't for Cassandra, you would have been out for a lot longer. How bad? It was pretty bad. Broken bones, ruptured organs, and a real nasty blow to your head. But we weren't sure you'd wake up. I have this burning feeling inside my skull. It's like it's on fire. Ah, oh, yeah. After the crash, you were suffering from something cranial pressure. Cassandra had to operate on you. Try not to move around too much. It should help. Now, if you feel enough for it, I believe I owe you a delayed thank you. Thanks to you and Lupe's vertebrate heroics, the HQ was spared nuclear annihilation. Well, mostly. There was a bit of radiation to deal with. But the gunners didn't have time to properly arm the bombs, so the fallout was minimal. Good job, Chief. We all owe you our lives. Oh, and before you ask, don't worry. Lupe's fine. No idea what that girl's made of, but she managed to come out of the wreck with barely a scratch. You look tired. I just... I didn't want you waking up with no one else around. You know? Where is she? Lupe? I think she's in the Kamarai room. She's been covering a few of my shifts for me. You know, I've been down here. I'm glad I got here in time. <laughs> you're not the only one. Um, hey, now that you're awake, there's something I want to talk to you about. Remember a while back when I said that maybe we should wait? You know, before we tried to pursue intimate things. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Whenever I put the vote to the audience, romance always wins. I'm listening. Well, the reason was... And I was worried. Worried that all this gunner business would just get in the way. But when I saw you laying in that bed, I... I realized what a terrible mistake I had made. That if anything, because of all this gunner stuff, well... The time we have is precious. Well, what I'm trying to say is... I don't want to wait no more. I want to be your partner. And I don't just mean business partner. I just noticed there's an end romance option there. Finally. I, I won't do that asked. to you guys. <laughs> uh, sorry it took me so long. But in all seriousness, this is something I want. I think it's something I've wanted for some time now. You're very important to me. Hearing you say that means a lot. All right. Back to business. At least for now. I know you've only just woken up, and I don't want to overwhelm you, but... Well, since your accident, things have... changed out there. The Commonwealth is a mess, and you need to know what's been going on. Now go gather the rest of the staff. Let them know you're awake. So when you're ready, make your way to the meeting room and we can fill you in. And again, it's good to have you back. Things just weren't the same without you. Where am I? Oh, right, of course. You haven't seen this place since we fixed it up. Right now, we're under the HQ, in that new area we found. We needed a bigger infirmary, and the space was free. Glad to be back. Don't forget to grab your stuff. 
It's in the locker near your bed. See you in the meeting room. Yeah, that, that animation gets a little weirdly delayed sometimes. The an, uh, Niher came up with this new method of uh, doing conversation animations for this to kind of emulate what they do in a lot of uh, scenes in Cyberpunk where the NPC will be talking with you and they'll be doing like idle animations and then in response to the player picking an option then they'll do a new animation and it's like very seamlessly uh, done the way they did that. And apparently Fallout 4 has support for that too and Nihar was doing some stuff with it. But there's some oddities with timing like um, he is supposed to point to the to the chest as he's saying your stuff and everything. Um, all right, let's put this back on. And then I need my helmet. Where's my... Wait, was I... There's no arrows. No, I was wearing the Gunner Commander gear. Feels fitting to uh, be fighting them and wearing their former boss's armor. All right, so that was Resurgence. Um, I think the, the uh, only hiccups we really had there were the some little animation funkiness, which is pretty typical for the game. Um, this whole quest was like us getting, going crazy with ambition of things like, can we make the engine do that? Like the, the whole the whole crash sequence of figuring out, could we do that? Can I manage to make the HQ hangar cell build up and trigger the war in the background that takes over all the settlements and puts gunners everywhere, all within like a one minute sequence? And uh, so yeah, we, we kind of pushed the limits, which is why probably a lot of you have this uh, not playing out quite as beautifully every time, because this is a, this is a lot more than this game engine was intended to do. Um, and once I start into the war mechanics, it's very hard to veer off without constantly getting pulled into to battles and such. So I think we're gonna next time probably go tinker around with some more of the vanilla faction so that we have them prepped for ally ships because it's kind of like, uh, it's be the best time to do it is gonna be now. Like once we Once we get into the next quest, things kind of get a little more hectic for the rest of the chapter three quest line. So I think it was